I am baffled at the lack of attention paid to Mississauga's Luke Misa for the 2024 NHL Draft. On paper, Misa brings everything to the table. He passes the puck a ton. He doesn't miss a whole lot. He runs offensive transitions and completes the vast majority of them. He drives scoring chances off of his own stick and sets them up for his line mates in every game that I've tracked this season. He is one of the most effective forechecking wingers in the entire draft class with a massive ability to generate turnovers in the offensive zone. The speed alone is no and it puts him right up at the top of the class, and I find that that helps him out often in all three zones of the ice. Misa is simply just a competitor, especially when there's offense to be had. Wrestling pucks free and thinking quickly to create space and generate plays for others, Misa's shot quality, in my opinion, isn't necessarily high-end, but he doesn't really waste his time on the perimeter shooting from the boards, and improvement on his release, especially on the rush, is only going to lead to better results in the future. To me, he's a brilliant tactician with a calm but active approach to his playmaking, utilizing line mates tremendously often, taking or creating over 50% of his team's shot attempts attempts in my data set. Unfortunately, Misa is small, can get knocked around, and doesn't particularly strike fear into his opponents along the boards in his own end, but that is just simply not the type of game he plays, and the speed, evasion skill, and the mentality he brings offensively in my books makes up for a lot of his shortcomings. At times, the pace and skill in conjunction is absolutely dazzling, stitching plays together, moving up the ice with selflessness and really strong structure to what he's doing. He has confidence, he has skill, and a willingness to use all of his abilities one-on-one. -on -one. And as a player, where simply elevating his tools through training could make him a very talented offensive player on the wing. Misa is perceived as a bit of a lower floor player, but to me, there's a decent floor here. He's a player that seems as if he'll be available in the middle rounds of the the draft, and if you ask me, he'd be a better bet than likely many other names available in that range.